Charlie the squirrel woke up the next morning, his mind still filled with the breathtaking sight of the moonflower. The entire forest seemed to be buzzing with excitement about the previous night's discovery. The moonflower's radiant light had left a lasting impression on all who saw it, and the friends couldn't stop talking about their adventure. As Charlie gathered nuts for breakfast, he noticed a strange glow emanating from deep within the forest. It wasn't the warm light of the sun or the soft glow of the moonflower. It was something different, something mysterious. Intrigued, Charlie decided to investigate. He quickly gathered his friends, Felix the fox, Ollie the owl, and Bella the bunny. There's something glowing in the forest. We have to find out what it is. Charlie said, his eyes wide with curiosity. The friends agreed and set off together, following the faint glow through the dense forest. As they walked, they encountered various animals, all of whom had noticed the strange light and were equally curious. A hedgehog named Harold joined their group, followed by a family of deer and a mischievous raccoon. The glow grew brighter as they ventured deeper into the forest. They soon found themselves standing before a large, ancient tree with twisted roots and gnarled branches. At the base of the tree was a small, glowing portal. The light that radiated from it was mesmerizing, casting a soft, enchanting glow over the surroundings. Should we go through it? Bella asked, her nose twitching nervously. We have to. Charlie replied, his adventurous spirit burning brightly. This could be another magical discovery. Taking a deep breath, the friends stepped through the portal one by one. On the other side, they found themselves in a world unlike any they had ever seen. The forest here was lush and vibrant, filled with plants and animals that glowed with an otherworldly light. The air was filled with the sweet scent of flowers, and the ground beneath their feet felt soft and warm. This place is amazing, Felix exclaimed, his eyes wide with wonder. As they explored this new, glowing world, they encountered a wise old turtle named Terence. He explained that they had entered the realm of the glowing grove, a magical place that existed parallel to their own forest. The glow they had seen was the result of the magical energy that flowed through this realm, which was home to many rare and wonderful creatures. Terence told them about the heart of the grove, a mystical crystal that was the source of all the magic in the realm. However, the crystal had started to dim, and the glow of the grove was fading. Without the crystal's light, the magical creatures and plants would wither away. We need to find the heart of the grove and restore its light, Terence said. But it won't be easy. The crystal is hidden deep within the grove, and many challenges lie ahead. Determined to help, Charlie and his friends set off on their new quest. They traversed glowing rivers, climbed shimmering cliffs, and navigated through fields of luminescent flowers. Along the way, they encountered friendly creatures who offered guidance and assistance. As they neared the center of the grove, they faced their greatest challenge yet, a dark, enchanted forest that was filled with traps and obstacles. But with teamwork and determination, they managed to overcome each hurdle, growing closer as friends in the process. Finally, they reached the heart of the grove. It was a magnificent crystal, its light flickering weakly. Charlie carefully approached it, and as he touched the crystal, he felt a surge of warmth and energy flow through him. The crystal began to glow brighter and brighter until it shone with a brilliant light that illuminated the entire grove. The friends watched in awe as the grove was restored to its former glory. The plants and animals regained their glow, and the air was filled with the sweet scent of flowers once again. Terence appeared and thanked them for their bravery and kindness. You have saved the realm of the glowing grove, he said. You are true heroes. With the quest complete, Charlie and his friends stepped back through the portal, returning to their own forest. 
They shared their incredible adventure with the other animals, who listened in awe and admiration. As the sun set, Charlie reflected on their journey. He knew that there were still many mysteries to uncover and adventures to be had in the magical forest. And with his friends by his side, he was ready for whatever came next. Thank you.